Next, we will consider a news vendor that suffers from anticipated regret. So always the setting is as before, but now we assume that the news vendor suffers from anticipated regret. For each dollar, the realized outcome deviates from the ex post optimal outcome. The marginal disutility is given by alpha equals to one half. And we want to derive the news vendor's expected utility when ordering 12 units. Here we have to distinguish two cases. The first case, or in the first case, we assume that the news vendor does not observe excess demand. In the second case, we will assume that the news vendor observes excess demand. So let us start with the first case. We have a news vendor ordering 12 units. With a probability of 0.3, the demand will be 10. In this case, the news vendor sells 10 units at a price of 10 and the news vendor bought 12 units at a price of 4, which results in a profit of 52. If the news vendor had ordered the optimal order quantity, she would have ordered only 10 units, 10 units at a price of 10, sell, uh, 10 units at a price of 4, selling it for 10, results in a profit of 60. Instead, she only made a profit of 52. So there's a difference of 8 between the optimal profit, the ex post optimal profit, and the realized profit. In the other cases, so with probability 0.7, the demand or the observed demand is 12 or larger. In this case, the news vendor sells 12 units at a price of 10. She bought 12 units at a price of 4 and there will be no leftovers. So the order decision was ex post optimal or put differently, the news vendor does not observe that her decision was not ex post optimal. Okay, now let us do the calculations. What do we have? We have 0.3 times 52 minus one half times 60 minus 52, which is eight plus 0.7 times 120 minus 48, which is 72. So in this case, we have 0.3 times 50, 52 minus 4 is 48 plus 0.7 times 72, which results in a profit of or results in a utility of 64.8. Right. This is the case if the news vendor does not observe excess demand. Now we will turn to the case in which she does observe it. If the news vendor does observe excess demand, we have to consider three possible demand realizations. With a probability of 0.3, the demand is 10, and we just do the calculation from before. This means the profit is 52 minus 1 half times 60, which is the optimal, or the, the profit associated with the ex post optimal order decision, minus 52 with a probability of 0.5 the news vendor sells 12 units and as we know from before the profit when ordering and selling 12 units is given by 72 in this case the realized profit is equal to the ex post optimal profit. And finally, 
we have to consider the case in which the news vendor faces a demand of 13 but only ordered 12 units in this which occurs with a probability of 0.2 in this case the news vendor makes a profit of 72 but the ex post optimal profit would have been ordering 13 units 13 units sell and selling them at a price of, of 10 each meaning a revenue of 130 minus the costs of uh, 13 times 4 which is which results in a profit of 78 instead the news vendor only made a profit of 72 and so the news vendor suffers from this difference so what we have here is we can write this down as 0.3 times 52 minus one half times 60 minus 52 which is minus 4 plus 0.5 times 72 plus 0.2 times 72 minus one half times 78 minus 72 which is just minus 3. If we plug it in, we find that the expected utility of this news vendor is just 64.2. If you compare this utility from to the utility derived before, we find that this is a bit smaller and this is driven by the fact that this news vendor who also observes excess demand suffers from observing it.